Hello everybody, my name is Luke Marr and this is Hollow Mode and today on Hollow Mode we are coming to you with a closet tour reaction to Camille Coe's closet. Now Camille is a content creator, designer, creative in general and I've seen this closet tour video out and about for some time and I thought to myself, self said I, let's get into it. But before we get any further into the video I want to say a huge shout out to today's sponsor who is better help. So in 2022, I already said that I am setting a new mental health goal, which is I want to stop biting my nails for good. It's something that is a work in progress. It's honestly something that I have like been doing for years. And I know that it stems from anxiety. And one of the best ways to follow through on healthy mental health habits is by working with a licensed therapist. With BetterHelp, you can access their network of over 20,000 licensed therapists. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional therapy done securely online. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. Now, if you've ever searched for a counselor in your area, you know it can take weeks or even months just to get a phone call back. Now, with BetterHelp, you can start communicating in as little as 48 hours. And BetterHelp is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist and you'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room or like just totally forget your entire in-person therapy session and then you miss it and then it's really difficult and then you feel really bad about yourself kind of situation because that happens to some of us. Could be a reason why I bite my nails. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change therapists if needed. Listen, sometimes therapists, you gotta date them. You gotta find out if you have the right vibe, and once you find somebody, you're in. It's good. It's helpful. And it's more affordable than traditional offline therapy, and financial aid is available. Now, BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. So visit betterhelp.com slash hotlamode, that's better H-E-L-P, and join over 2 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. And you all deserve to prioritize your mental health this year, so get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash hotlamode. So thank you to BetterHelp, and with that, let's get into this reaction video. So the walk-in closet tour of Camille Co. begins now. So behind this door is my new walk-in closet. The Yoni people will get concerned. I'm presuming this is the husband. Yoni stuff is all shoved inside that shoe closet. The people are asking questions, hard-hitting journalists. Do not worry, he has his own closet and it's all there at the master's bedroom. Honestly, that seems fair to me. I know nothing about having a partner and or sharing a closet, but like, my secret code. Love a secret code. My lips. <laughs> Ta da! See, no retina scan, no fingerprint, just a door. Okay, she's big. She's thick. Oh, that's a lot of sunglasses, Jesus. It looks like well organized enough. A lot of you will say that it looks smaller than my previous walk in closet at home in my parents' house. All of my stuff from both of my like walk in closet inside my bedroom and my third floor, like the attic walk in closet that I used to have. So everything is now here in one place. That's a big closet, it seems. Let's start with this first. Okay, starting rack. with this so first these rack. Are all Love of it. My blazers, all okay. Fixed. It's so a lot of blazers and jackets. Divided. Got them all arranged by color because mm -hmm. you all know that I love arranging all of my items by color. Color? No. I like to keep things like together in terms of like branding. I, like I have pieces from Courage, so like I keep all of those together because then I know where to find I don't have to look in the pants section, move over to the jacket section, yada 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 yada. That's kind of how I operate sometimes, but also like I just react to the clothes. Organizing not my strong suit. All of my clothes here are facing to the left because I hate it when everything's like facing one way and then the other. We've got golds and creams and then pinks, oranges, purples, yellow, greens, blues, gray. So these are the skirts that are not knits. They're mostly woven. So when I say woven, they're not stretchable and they get wrinkled easily. My queen. You can tell that she is like a fashion girl. Like she she knows. She's saying like, don't hang your net. It's gonna get stretched out. I just got it from Revolve. It's Measurelle. Okay, so like the Raval. I don't know that much about it, to be completely honest with you. I know that like it's like an influencer thing. It's fast fashion-y. 
right? And it's also a really cool skirt that I have. It's by Coexist by Camille Cole. Okay, so she has her own brand. I know nothing about the brand. I couldn't find what it was called. Coexist. Oh, she said goodbye to her fashion brand in 2018. Okay, good to know. It seems like you can buy some of it still online though. Still shoppable online, secondhand this vintage. This shirt that I made for my trip to Scotland. It's so heavy that it oh can stand on its own. <laughs> Chanel vibes over there. All my fabric fedoras and all my paperboy hats. Okay, I love that she pulls things out. I like that she talks about stuff. I like that she gives it like the history. I do love that. Not everything is my style, but like I appreciate it. I appreciate so where we're going. These are from Brixton. It's an American brand. Into these like raw edges, na mga beach hats. I feel like they're so much cuter. I don't own any beach hats, but also like I don't live somewhere tropical. I mean, I never really got into it, but I respect it. Sometimes you need them, right? Uh, basketball player. No, just kidding. But Me. I know it's kind of hard because it's babe. Alley -oop. Alley -oop. Out of my old closet, so that's why I had to buy this. I really wanted a gold foldable ladder para madam na madam, but I can't find any. So I have this heavy duty step ladder that I can use. Smart. If I really can't reach she should it get one of the grabbers, you know? Ones that are not as wrinkly. I just fold them at the waistline, so at least when you fold it, parang the top is not wrinkled and then the bottom is not wrinkled. Lagi naman usually may seam in between your torso and the bottom half. So. That's where I fold. I love this. I'm obsessed with her. Like she's, uh, listen, the clothing in and of itself, I'm not like, oh my God, I'm all amazing. But I like the fact that she explains everything. Everything has a reason. Everything has a detail. Everything has a, here's, here's the reason why you need to do this. Or why I do this. I'm kind of obsessed. Yeah. A little ruffly, scruffly, very Coachella, cute. Get it. Pleasant styles because they're pleasant to look at. I'm obsessed with her. She has grown on me exponentially with her peasant and pleasant rhyming Easy. scheme. Too much energy. And then I'm really into these tops that has these like colorful lines. Okay, little knit, little bandeau be. moment. I'm starting to invest in my like branded shirts just to make me feel like Okay, I'm I will say when you look at this summer wrong shirt, it does have the lips, which 1970s oh couture there's that element cigarette smoking very similar i respect that like this fits in with like the whole brand element and all that sort of stuff very happy shirt i just recently bought this when we were in italy after a wedding oh my God. so it's a gucci shirt and i feel like it's pride the obsessed icon ally maybe she's queer i don't know it's a lot of money to spend on a tea i'll say that uh, i don't know if the city's here or not pride cities Pride cities. Wait, I'm obsessed with her. She's like, this is Pride March. Thank you, Gooch. But let's just believe it's for Pride. Gooch. Fancy exhibit in. Okay. Amsterdam. I really like it. I feel like out of all his works, ito yung pinaka favorite ko talaga. Medyo sad talaga siya. And then we got. Okay, love that she goes into Tagalog because I have no idea what she's saying, and she just like caps off a sentence, and I'm like, okay, got half the story, but like, okay, cool, we're here for it. Medyo sad talaga siya. This is my latest black shirt purchase. Friday. Hashtag blessed. This is, I know this is from like two years ago, so maybe this is from like 2019, but like I thought at that point at least we, we knew it, we were past the hashtag bless. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. It's so cute. It's this Taiwanese brand called 50%, and they've got a lot of these really cute shirts, and they had a shirt for each day. So, para kunyari, like Monday, parang kaya mayan or something, that Thursday, almost there, and then Friday. Bless. Got it, okay, I see. I still do believe that masakad bumi na mga branded clothes. Shoes and bags, parang medyo, it makes more sense, but clothes, kasi parang. Okay, so I feel like the vibe that she's giving is like shoes and bags, it makes sense to like pay full price, but like clothing, no. Which I get why she says that. I also say that to myself, but I say we should value clothing at the proper price points but also again like it's a whole different conversation so i don't dock anybody any points for that i get it because i do the same thing so these are mostly mm -hmm. mga beige and then yellows and green top that you saw in my other vlog an off-white moment got it, it says, okay Taurus, i'm not a stubborn girl just the vibes so i have like this shirt that i got also while i was in okay. the before this really nice rainbow. I love because I respect I respect color. rainbow like stripey colors, moment. Seems color. like it's something she goes for. This one is also from a Taiwanese Cute. store that I saw. And it sells mostly my Korean shirts. I love how big it is. And yung fit niya parang drop shoulder siya. So okay. I, like it. I feel like a K pop star. Has whatever. a little sweatshirt thickness. And then here we've got my blue shirts mm -hmm. and my gray shirts. Again, just random stuff that I have. Look at this room, it looks so much smaller than yun nga, my second floor and my third floor combined in the old house. I'm really into wide trousers now. With, like wide statement making trousers, like this one. This one is by Regina Pio, and she's one of Love. my favorite designers. Regina Pio. Shout out, icon, legend, star, British based designer. She makes very cool handbags. But she also has clothes. 
So you love that. Oh, but I also have here my jumpsuits and the knits that also are too heavy to hang. So sometimes if you have clothes that is too heavy, parang masyado siyang nagpo-pull down ng weight, you really should fold them because then the straps would get stretched out too much. Yeah, I agree. You're not really supposed to hang knits. The weight of it will droop and then the knit will stretch over time. It's just better to fold them and keep them sort of folded because they won't stretch out. They won't lose shape. They won't look strange i don't hang any of my knits i keep everything in little drawers or whatever just because it's the easiest way to keep them safe from lasting long enough and so that they don't all turn into dresses over a prolonged period so this specific jumpsuit of mine it's a really again it sparks joy she's, she's <laughs> selling me on the stripes because the knits the are like stripes. super close together it's by ph5 <gasps> love oh my god wait this is fun i love this oh my god couldn't taste ph5 is great we've talked about them before do those really cool asymmetrical skirts that almost look like looks like little slime dripples coming down they're really great love my famous 80 best so top from my ukai ukai vlog it's cute my love a polka so, dot this one, i wore this in one of my ig stories and a lot of people were asking me where i got it it's from pos okay i, I feel like Haas is the more expensive version of h and m it's like one of their other brands pretty positive it fits in where it's like cheap enough but like still not fashion nova kind of vibes like there's those tier levels of like fast fashion this too. one is from penguin so it's actually the smallest size of okay the this is by rosie Asolin. so i do appreciate the fact that she kind of like goes in and out other cool like independent brands ph5 is independent i know rosie Asolin is independent i really i respect that a lot it's a nice i don't know i think it's crepe I like the oh, scrunch, the again, like the crunch, like the sleeves are cool. Is, uh, no, thrifted also, by <gasps> Love a Calvin Klein moment. Calvin Klein, 205, Western Union, NYC. I feel like this is probably a commercial version or something that didn't appear on the runway from Raph Simmons' first or second collection for Calvin Klein, 205, Western Union, NYC. I go on the real rail a lot and I have a lot of the Calvin Klein stuff saved. Kind of a problem and... I just like to see it. it. Looks so new, and I got it super duper cheap. It's my Calvin Klein. This one is one of my newer tops. Shout super out, cute. Ralph. Again, fluffy sleeves, sparks joy again. I like the it's big chunky Rose sleeve resort. moment. This is the super duper favorite blazer that I got. I didn't even see it. It's by Gemma Kang, and I bought it in the famous flea market in LA. Cool, in love that. It's really nice, it vintage nice. piece. I, like, I love this. I'm happy that she like actually explains everything. Very enjoyable. I have the rash guards that I'm not wearing. Oh, see? I like a rash guard. Yet. This is my favorite rash guard. I also think that Raph Simmons, for his last physical show for Calvin Klein, did rash guards. I'm pretty positive that he did. It was at like Jaws collection, which I love. Right. Cynthia Rowley. I didn't know Cynthia Rowley made rash guards. The more you know. And then on top of this rack, we've got more of my flaps. So here we've got a lot of my hats. Okay. And my fedoras. So Less okay with those. My latest fedora purchase. It's a reversible fedora by Gucci. So green on one side. I would call that a bucket hat. If this is what we're calling fedoras, continue. Let us reclaim the word fedoras. Please and thank you. My special wow. pull out drawer that Yanni is so jealous of. <gasps> those are hot. I'm jealous of those. Those are very hot. That is really cool. This is one of the design features I really requested from SB Furniture because I wanted my Shout out. light. You just easily pull out one <gasps> rod. And then you know, I could just get the jeans. She approves. Wow, she's, she's very cool. I'm obsessed with her. Oh my god, stop. The they click and they clap. ASMR. I think one of my latest purchases is this one. It's from another sale again. It's like this leather pants Cute. by Belmont. It's my first ever Belmont piece. So I love a leather pants. Pant. Shout out Olivia. Here, no matter, mostly my skirts. And too heavy or embellished. So that's why okay. I really hang them up. That makes sense. Got... Again, listen, if you have stuff that's full of embroidery, whether it's a knit, or not the embroidery is going to obviously like pull because gravity exists shocker i know throwing out major very good really insightful advice i appreciate this already guns there they're also just folded and then here are mostly my jackets the man there are denim and mass i like this jackets. pink this with jacket the is actually a gift from my dad it's a hand-me-down i borrowed it from cute while we were i don't even like burberry like that it's his old burberry jacket but not reversible which i, I like a dad so moment here the man are mostly mga Oh, I see Moschino, that little print with the gold chains running through. Everybody's kind of done that. Versace, Corsa Celine. New purchase also from Moschino. It's a really cool, okay. like, orange dress. 
it's my rotate so i got it from Netflix. okay love again like pulling out brands that are low-key we appreciate rumpled heat manipulation to each their own i'm planning to wear it to whatever special event that i have a lot of my beach dresses a lot of bonito we've got here sparkly stuff also oh it's i see the stripes in the multicolor is by fabiana c so it's a taiwanese designer Okay. This the skirt that I got for oh, love Beautiful. I like that she wears like a full ball gown skirt because I feel like I don't really see people do that often. I love her in France. It's an LA based. Okay. Brand. Simple. Yeah. Little plaid. One of my favorites that I haven't worn yet. It's by Lady Daily. It's a nice mint green. Okay, cute. It has the sleeves that she likes. A little bit peasanty sort of style. I see. I see. If I brought and it's cold, I wear with a turtleneck inside. It's super cute. All my accessories right here laid out like my sunnies. It used to be really hidden. So everything's there. Well, I'm not separation because before I had some sunnies in my second floor, some sunnies in my third floor. So now I've got all of them. It's a lot again, of sunglasses. But again, like naked. she lives somewhere very warm sunny, and tropical sunny. and hot. So I get it. It's available in Ellis Pascual or Pascal. I'm not sure. One of that. And I really love it because it kind of looks like I'm a 70s siren. Siren that I got. So it's like. I'm kind of obsessed with her. She's cute. It's one of my loudest. Terrible. Okay, a little cat eye. That's a heart moment. moment. And this one is by Trenty and Mercury. This is my lightest pair of specs. Again, I go so dizzy. I feel like I'm one of the few people. I feel like I should start calling things more specs. Wearing contact lenses than specs. Because if I wear glasses for a really long period of time, I feel like I'm sakit ko sa ulo. Even though no matter how light it is, I'm always aware that I'm wearing specs. So contacts for me is really mo much more comfortable. I agree. I can't wear specs outside of the house. Just as an FYI. It makes me like sick. More push open drawers <gasps> so we've got most of my socks here Parang okay oh my god wow so many see i'm just like a black and white and gray and that's it the colorful sock game i'm not most of these are super not a fan inexpensive of. the ones that i buy lang from the sides of the streets when i'm abroad okay chupa chups and then we've got coca cola and then we've got burgers super cute we've got here my scarves so a okay. lot of different scarves also, I want to say the last time that we talked about scarves in a video, you all came through and you commented and you talked about scarves and I respect it. I respect their scarf game. I'm working on it. And, Not buying them, but like uh, respecting them. I'm working on my, my scarf game. I use that to cover it because I don't want to wear makeup. The masks, masks. Smart. Or, if you ask me in the comment section below where I got Oh, this is from pre-COVID, right? Oh my God, this is from pre-COVID. Wait, that's fun. So I'm not going to speak because if I know what I'm talking about, really. But I do know that in certain countries in Asia, masks are like a thing if you are sick. If you are sick, oftentimes people will say like, I don't want to get anybody else sick. So let me put on a mask to help other people. But I love the fact that she has these masks pre-COVID. She was prepared. She knew it was coming. She didn't. But like, she was going to be ready when it came. Walk-in closets in one. All right. And that is all thanks to SB Furniture. Woo! They so, so nice Camille, to work with. They you got really me. understood my needs. And you tired they really me out. my style. Thank you, Camille. I, I think we are solid on that one. Honestly, I thought it was intriguing. I think it's a good, solid, normal. She doesn't like to be called an influencer, content creator. I get it. I respect it. I think it's more normal as in like, these are brands that I like, so I buy things from them. A lot of stuff is bought on sale. Other stuff is not. And it's mixed in with more sort of like regular everyday things from other brands. It's like stuff that's bought on sale. It feels like a good mix. I understand it, of course, in a perfect world nobody would buy fast fashion but that's not the world we live in so yeah overall i thought it was nice it was very long she's very detailed i feel like i learned about a bunch of different brands and i feel like i learned a bunch of different tips that i now will employ in my own life and closet i'd love to know what you guys think in the comments down below of camille co's closet i want to say a huge shout out again to better help check that link in the description box below i will see you guys in the next video and ttyl